The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of Ezekiel. The word of Yahweh was addressed to me as follows. Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and say to them, shepherds, the Lord Yahweh says this. Disaster is in store for the shepherds of Israel who feed themselves. Are not shepherds meant to feed a flock? Yet you have fed on milk. You have dressed yourselves in wool. You have sacrificed the fattest sheep, but failed to feed the flock. You have failed to make weak sheep strong, or to care for the sick ones, or bandage the injured ones. You have failed to bring back strays, or look for the lost. On the contrary, you have ruled them cruelly and harshly. For lack of a shepherd, they have been scattered to become the prey of all the wild animals. They have been scattered. My flock is astray on every mountain and on every high hill. My flock has been scattered all over the world. No one bothers about them and no one looks for them. Very well, shepherds, hear the word of Yahweh. As I live, I swear it, declares the Lord Yahweh. Since my flock has been pillaged and for the lack of a shepherd is now the prey of every wild animal, since my shepherds have ceased to bother about my flock, since my shepherds feed themselves rather than my flock, very well, shepherds, hear the word of Yahweh. The Lord Yahweh says this, Look, I am against the shepherds. I shall take my flock out of their charge and henceforth not allow them to feed my flock. And the shepherds will stop feeding themselves because I shall rescue my sheep from their mouths to stop them from being food for them. For the Lord Yahweh says this, Look, I myself shall take care of my flock and look after it. And our response is from Psalm 23. Yahweh is my shepherd. I lack nothing. In grassy meadows he lets me lie. By tranquil streams he leads me to restore my spirit. He guides me in paths of saving justice as befits his name. Even were I to walk in a ravine as dark as death, I should fear no danger, for you are at my side. Your staff and your crook are there to soothe me. You prepare a table for me under the eyes of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup brims over. Kindness and faithful love pursue me every day of my life. I make my home in the house of Yahweh for all time to come. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said, Now the kingdom of heaven is like a landowner going out at daybreak to hire workers for his vineyard. He made an agreement with the workers for one denarius a day and sent them to his vineyard. Going out at about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, You go to my vineyard too, and I will give you a fair wage. So they went. At about the sixth hour, and again at about the ninth hour, he went out and did the same. Then at about the eleventh hour, he went out and found more men standing around, and he said to them, Why have you been standing here idle all day? Because no one has hired us, they answered. He said to them, You go into my vineyard too. In the evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his bailiff, Call the workers and pay them their wages, starting with the last arrivals and ending with the first. So those who were hired at about the eleventh hour came forward and received one denarius each. When the first came, they expected to get more, but they too received one denarius each. They took it, but grumbled at the landowner, saying, The men who came last have done only one hour, and you have treated them the same as us, though we have done a heavy day's work in all the heat. He answered one of them and said this, My friend, 
I am not being unjust to you. Did we not agree on one denarius? Take your earnings and go. I choose to pay the last comer as much as I pay you. Have I no right to do what I like with my own? Why should you be envious? Because I am generous. Thus, the last will be first, and the first last. The Gospel of the Lord.